Here's the 90-90 hip internal rotation stretch. Here's what you're gonna do. Find a 90-90 you can comfortably sit in. So you may need to sit or prop your hip up on a mat, uh, maybe not. Then you're gonna sit up tall. You're gonna rotate towards your back hip, almost like you were gonna put your foot or your hand on your back leg. And if you're more flexible than me and you can get deeper into the 90-90 without the pad, then you might be sitting up tall with both hands on this ankle. But for me right now, this is where I'm at. So you're gonna find a stretch sensation on the outside of this hip, okay? Many people find it out here or in here, but I think getting you to push your knee away from you a little bit, getting you to lean back a little bit more, almost like you were gluing this knee down and then rotating your torso away from that glued knee. So like you're pushing your knee away from you, rotating towards the back. So this could be the 90-90 internal rotation stretch for you as well, if this is the angle that feels the best for you. Um, see if you can also squeeze this back butt cheek, and then maybe relax it and sink deeper into the stretch. Um, and then over time you wanna test yourself, like maybe now I can sit up a little bit taller in my 90-90. Maybe if I take away um, the pad or put a little less pad, to help, um, I can sit a little bit easier. Internal rotation of our hips, um, we need to train it because we do a ton of external rota rotation within CrossFit specifically. Um, so really good stretch. You might find yourself super restricted here. Just take some time, take some deep breaths into the position and search out for this line of stretch on the outside of the hip. That's the 90-90 internal rotation stretch.